what's up guy once again you're welcome to our channel today all right um france have experienced a very serious blackout after niger cut off uranium export to france and everybody know that um, france um is the biggest importer of uranium from france i mean from niger and that after niger junta took over and cut off ties with france freezing export of uranium to france france is beginning to take a hit they are taking a very serious hit so there's a video i'm going to play right now you listen to everything you're going to see that france is taking a hit and that these guys in fact this is going to be the end of france all right because they have they have they have, they have taken africa for granted for a long time everybody know what france is doing in africa everybody know that the wealth gotten from uh the wealth that france currently have today is all stolen from africa so guys i want you guys to just watch this video right now and then you see the moment blackout actually crippled france to the extent that they are now using generator it's such a shock they are using generator now so i want you guys watch the video and after that i'll be back this time, power failure on the line stranded more than 2,000 passengers overnight in stations in the south of France. Two high-speed trains running between Paris and Nice were brought to a standstill. The trains reached their destinations after a journey of up to 17 hours. All right, guys, uh, right now, as we speak to you, France is facing an existential threat because the entire economy is powered by electricity. And you can imagine... If the electricity is now cut off, their daily life, economy, and everything will be in shambles. And they are beginning to experience it because it's estimated that France exports up to 15 to 20 percent of uranium from Niger. And right from the moment the Niger new military authorities took over, it's been a nightmare for France. All the lights are going off, and this is going to throw France into the dark ages france is going back to the dark ages because imagine this kind of a scenario you've been used to light 24 hours no light going off at any time and then all of a sudden you now begin to use lantern this is what they are using now they are now beginning to use electric lamp right now so this situation is very serious it goes along with the show these guys have been stealing africa all these years and you guess what do you know that uh, Bazoum, that was the, the, the post by the military junta, is from a minority tribe that is even less than 1%. It's from an Arab tribe. And these are the, this is the president that France put in charge of Niger because they know that they are going to use the minority to rule the majority. You can imagine, it is a house that are majority in Niger. That's why you see these... Uh, um, the, the Nigerians advising Tenoba against going to war in Niger because if you go to war in Niger, invariably you are going to war against Nigeria because Nigerians make up their houses, make up 60% of the Nigerians. So going to war, who are you going to, I mean, it's against yourself you are going to war. So right now, France was using this president to, to embezzle or to, uh, to cheat. That's what they were doing. They were cheating on the good people of Niger. They never accounted for it. The president never accounted for it. And that was why it was removed. And now France threatened, should their interests be attacked or should their interests be jeopardized in, in Niger, that they, are, they will not, they will respond. That was why they wanted the Kowas to respond by all means and all of that, but to no avail. So guys, it's a very serious matter. Africans are tired of France. France is even worse than, than Britain. Britain colonized Africa to they colonized some part of Africa. But I think the policies of France is way more worse than Britain. I'm not saying Britain is a saint either. All of them, they are all corrupt. They never granted us independence. In fact, the independence they granted to us was on paper. In reality, France, they keep troops in all of these African countries. They maintain troops in all african countries so guys this is a very serious uh, issue not only france is going to be thrown into darkness but the entire world because it's estimated that the the niger you know cut off for up to i think um 10 percent 
of uranium export that goes to the world. So this is going to be a very serious issue. France is going to crumble and this is going to be the end of colonialism in Africa. So I want you to just take a look at this video. Look at the moment they are now using Lambton now. It's such a disgrace. Watch this video. Droves of shoppers in Paris are buying camping stoves, lanterns, and strap-on headlamps. But it's not the heading to nature for long hikes. We've noticed a new Parisian clientele that is quite concerned and worried that they'll find themselves without electricity. And to reassure themselves, they wanted to have this kind of item in their homes. I took stock of the mountain camping equipment we have at home and I found that we were short of lamps in case there is a glitch. France was once a net exporter of electricity to its European neighbors. But with an unpredicted number of outages at its reactors, its nuclear output has reduced to a 30-year low. Talks of possible cuts have also promoted a surge in sales of electricity generators. At the moment, production has more than doubled. It has almost tripled compared to what we usually produce. Behind you, you'll see that our warehouse is practically empty. There must be around 180 machines left, which have been sold and are waiting to be prepared to go to the customers. Supermarket managers say the possible loss of a two-hour power cut justifies purchasing a backup generator for $21,000. So, in fact, without the generator, after two hours, all my goods in the fresh produce section, which are worth $31,000, would go to waste. For the frozen section, I have about $16,000 worth of goods, and after one hour, without a generator, I would have to throw all of it away. All right, so guys, this is what we are talking of. This is what we are talking of. So they are beginning to experience power cut but you see but look at this let's take a look at this do you know that these guys are very wicked imagine uh niger powers europe niger but niger is 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 the most poorest country i think niger is estimated to be the second most poorest country in the world the second most poorest country in the world so uh, and yes they cut off all the light. They make these countries rich. Africa make all the, 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 the West. There's nothing to show of no development, no nothing. The only people that are trying in infrastructural development is only China. Africa have had more than 400 years of Western slavery, but yet nothing to show for. They've colonized us for more, from, for more than 400 years, but there's nothing to show off in Africa. So it's time to awake and get rid of those guys and take back our future. What do you guys think? Please kindly drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is my TV. God bless you.